G'day folks, welcome back to the Fat Bastard Garage and I did a short show and a sneak peek of something that I'd bought and this is it and as you can see there's quite a few here and a few other bits and pieces as well. Um, I paid $30 for this, there's probably 60 cars, maybe more, I'm not quite sure. They all need restoration, right? So that was, you know, the reason I bought them. I'm not going to go through the whole lot now because it'll take bloody forever. There's four trays in here, uh, or two top trays, and then like underneath, which is the equivalent, the same. So I'm just going to grab a tray out, get yourself a coffee, because I'll probably bloody take ages to do these. There's some awesome stuff in here. I love it. There's some stuff that's absolutely trashed and no good. It's all mid-80s to mid-70s. Um, it's Yatming, Matchbox, Hot Wheels, uh, and there's a few unknowns in here too. But, yeah, so I'll get this out of the way. I'll grab a tray out and... We'll start going through them. So, yeah, get yourself coffee. This could be a little bit long. Right, so here we go. I've got my Coke bottle glasses on and this to try and help me figure out what's what. And we're just going to go for it. I don't know what that one is. Hang on, let me look. It is a Road Champs Trans Am and it is trashed. Poor thing. Um, yeah, I <laughs> don't know what you can say about that. You know, someone might be able to fix that, but I don't think my schools are anywhere near that. I think I've got a door for it. I'm not sure. But this, yeah, this is probably one of the worst ones I've got. It's pretty cool. Yeah. What have we got here? We have got, can we read that? Oh, it's upside down, of course. It's a Yatming, and it is, I can't read it. What does that look like? Looks like a Mustang to me. Yatming Mustang, like, hang on. I can't see any dates. Boss Mustang, number 12424. Yet me, you can just, yo, know, yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. Um, back axles knackered. If I hold it up so you can actually see the back axles knackered, but that's fixer upable. Gold and black with Goodyear on the back and a gold interior. Have you seen these before? Let me know in the comments. Because I've got no idea. Here we've got this is something. Hang on, I can't read it. This is a matchbox made in Macau mini pickup. That's all it says. Looks like an F F one fifty to me. Obviously the wheels are knackered on that. Is it, does it say something pick up? Oh, I can't read that. Aspen Ski Holidays. There's no date on that one either. Oh, yes, there is. Hang on. What's that date say? 1981. Cool. Do something with that. Oh, <laughs> yep. Got the body of a Jeep. Yep. We've got, oh, this looks like a bit of a newer one. Oh, it's a Ford, something or other. Well played with. Made in China. Ford F-150. And that's a 
Motomax. It's fairly big, actually. Long, I'd say. That's cool. What have we got here? It's a Hot Wheels 1979. And it's be a 30... I reckon that's a 34-ish. What do you reckon? Metal base, metal top. I don't know whether... Yeah, that feels like metal there. That's pretty cool. Definitely a good one to restore, eh? Yep. Good one. I'm picking them out as I go. What have we got here? This looks like it's a Corgi Juniors Fiat X19. If you don't know what a Fiat X19 is, educate yourselves. It was um a mid-engined. Uh, I thought that might come apart, but it doesn't. It's a mid-engined or rear-engined, like the engine was just there. No wheels, but yeah, you can do something with that. When was that? What's that? Number... I don't know. Can't read that. Got my glasses on. That's cool. We've got this thing. Pepsi Cola. I don't know what it is. It's missing a headlight. And it is a matchbox... Made in Malaysia, speed, whatever it is, 979, yep, it's a Model A Ford, that's a chunker, I tell you, that weighs, put some decent wheels on that, and that could go straight down the track at, at um, what's the name, racing, Bathurst Diecast Racing, <laughs> that is a heavy bugger, that's cool, good one. A resto one. This thing here weighs a ton. And I think it's a Peterbilt by the looks of it. Hot Wheels Peterbilt, made in Malaysia, 979. That is all metal. All metal. That's a good one for restoration. Is that bumper right? Someone let me know. Is it supposed to droop like that or not? I don't know. That's cool. What do we got here? We've got... That looks like a Corvette. And it's a Yatming 57 Corvette. Number 1079. Made in Hong Kong. Looks like doors open. Yes, they do. It's got a good-looking steering wheel too, isn't it? Like, instead of, come on, instead of having horrible pizza-looking steering wheel, that's cool. That's definitely a resto job. It looks like it used to have maybe the glass was part of the headlights. Don't know. Oh, hang on, we're missing an A-pillar. Just noticed that, but that can be fixed somehow. I'm not quite sure. Glass has got a crack in it. Um, I don't know what that is. What's that say? I don't know. It's cheap. It's all plastic. And it's got no back wheels. Actually, I think there's back wheels here for it. No, that's not them. There's, there's wheels here for something, and I don't know what they are. What's this? This is a a long bugger. Oh, it's a Knight Rider. It's the Knight Rider. What have we got on there? Knight Rider. Something licensed Universal Studios made in Macau. Trademark of 1982. Has doors come open? No. Does anyone know who makes that? 
There's nothing else on there. That might be alright. Glass is pretty naked. And it does have... Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Here's a good one. A Porsche. Very plain worn. Hot Wheels. 1987, this one. Doesn't say it's a Porsche. But it looks like a Porsche. It's got Porsche written on the side, so I say it is. That's cool. We've got these. And I showed you a little bit of a sneak peek on one of these. There's, there's three here. Crack Ups. 1983. Some of these still work. Some don't. That one doesn't want to spin all the way around. Still got the bonnet. I don't know what sort of car these were. Someone let me know. Well, we've got that one. We've got a blue one. Which does crack up. I first, when I first pulled one of these out, I thought... Jesus, someone's taken to that with a bloody screwdriver, like bashed it. Yeah, I didn't realise. That's 1983 again. But that one does. Yeah, you've got to use the, uh, the bonnet. That's cool. And then the yellow one you saw in the... In the like the short if you watch them fixed come on focus on an 83 again yep no they're all identical they're cool and they got suspension Didn't know that. None of these other I have. Um, I'm probably going to save that one till last. We have got, what is it? Just the van. I'm trying to read it. Doesn't sell, say. Oh, I can't read that one. Looks like the A-Team van, but it's not. I know, but... It's, I don't know, I've seen it, but I can't remember what it's called. It's just, is it dairy delivery? No. Something like that. That's cool. And then this one, which I really, really like, there's bits and pieces in there too, of different bits and pieces. And actually, I was saying, there's one of these, I've got one of these and it's a truck. It's in there somewhere. And, like, it smashes up the rear end. But, yeah. And then I've got this one, which is oh, Matchbox. We know it's Matchbox. 1988. Is it? Or is it up that way? Oh, no. I had it right. 1988, it's got um, plastic, plastic uh, base, metal there, the minties, and it's still got the doors. How cool is that? I mean, I haven't got anything like that, so I like it. It's a, uh, oh, what is it? Is it a Foden? It's a Dodge? Oh, I don't know. Someone will let me know. Brian will let me know. He's the he's the like the the expert on these. But yeah, so that's the first tray. More to come, obviously. Um, 
it's gonna I don't want to bore you too much with everything all in one hit because it'd just be too much so anyway cool stuff definitely some good restos in amongst them when I get around to bloody doing it mate all right that's it for now Ooh,